Hey guys, so Amazon has changed the way we communicate with our devices and with Alexa, they have started a revolution which is beginning right now. So in today's episode, I want to show you my top three Alexa gadgets which I use at home and also show you what Amazon brings you in the future. Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website or online store, make your next move with Squarespace and check out the links down below. But now, let's get started. So the first product maybe sounds totally boring, but to be honest, I love it. And my girlfriend is usually totally pissed because my alarm clock makes some really, really annoying sounds. Also, my old fashioned lamp looks really, really crappy. So I looked for some nice lamp with an alarm clock, but with the new Sleep Pace Nox, I found even more. So this thing is an RGB multicolor LED lamp, which is also Amazon Alexa ready. And to be honest, it looks pretty cool. The clean white upper two thirds of the Nox is the light itself, while the gray lower third contains a simple display. The top of the Nox consists out of five touch sensitive buttons that turn it on and off, control the speaker volume and adjust the brightness of the light. Now, it's a nice design, but the lack of some kind of haptic feedback sometimes makes it difficult to know if your finger touches have been registered, but while it's working fine. That's where the app comes into the game. Within the app you can control the light itself, set alarms and turn on different sleeping modes and as well check out a bunch of room data. Nox has also a feature called Sleep Aid Mode, which allows you to select the brightness and the tone of red light, as well as some soothing background music to help you fall asleep faster. Well, I can sleep even with heavy metal in the background, so I really don't care about this feature, but it's cool to have. Now, Nox provides additional insights to what could be affecting your sleep, like there are some hidden sensors which measure your room temperature, humidity, light and noise levels. Also combined with your smartphone or their own sleep tracker, you can track your sleep and see in the app exactly when you sleep well and when you don't. So this helps you to optimize your sleeping room conditions. It's really nothing that helps me out since I also sleep well on the floor, but it was interesting for me to check all the data. So the best feature for me is that you can fully control it with Alexa. So that means I don't have to roll over my girlfriend and hit the alarm clock like I used to. I can simply say Alexa, ask Knox to turn off the alarm or simply Alexa snooze by Knox. And also it's really cool because it wakes you up with light and music. And as a person who mostly can't hear the alarm, this helps a lot. I recently purchased the Alexa Echo Dot second generation. And then Amazon announced the new devices and I felt like, wow, what should I do with the dot now? So I did some research and found Vox, which makes the Echo Dot just awesome. So first of all, it makes Alexa portable. That means you slot in the dot, plug in the micro USB cable and the 3.5mm audio jack and wait for the dot to boot up and you're good to go. So Vox now also acts as a power bank for the Echo Dot and also as a pretty good sounding Bluetooth speaker. A micro USB cable and a USB wall plug aren't supplied, but you can use the one from your pre-existing Echo Dot. The power button also acts as a status indicator with three LED colors to show you what's happening. And it just tells you when it's charging or switched on and flashing blue means that the battery turns low. So the only downside is that you can't check the battery status. And also if you don't use Alexa, it will be empty after around 12 to 14 hours. The battery life at 50% volume is something close to 6 hours, so it's good enough to take it with you outside for a party. However, you always need a Wi-Fi connection or a mobile hotspot to keep Alexa connected. But I really love streaming Spotify in the last time, since this is so much more convenient than opening up YouTube on my smartphone, and 5 bucks for the student subscription sounds okay for me. So the sound quality is quite good and it's suitable as speaker for parties, listening to radio or simply streaming music. However, I used it to listen to music while doing my work and I noticed that it's a bit too loud at minimum volume, which annoyed me a bit and disturbed me while working. 
but I still think it's the perfect solution if you want some portability and better sound without connecting another speaker or buying the more expensive echo and then still having your dots. Now some people ask what those fancy lights in my background are and it's called Nanoleaf. It's a modular full RGB colored triangle shaped light that you can put together to any form you want and mount it easily on your wall. So people buy pretty things to hang up on the walls all the time and I think the young connected generation loves those gadgets on the walls. At least I do. So you can connect any panel to any other panel using an SD card like connector chip to join the sides. So the power flows through all of them from the base attachment which can handle up to 30 panels and you can basically connect as many as you like together, as long as you have enough money because it's quite expensive. Now Nanoleaf doesn't provide a lot of guidance regarding mounting it, but basically you really just put those triangles together in the shape you like and stick it to your wall using some double sided tape. Nanoleaf is completely Alexa compatible and with the skill you can control the brightness, turn it on or off and switch patterns. So you can do all that in the app too and there you can set some custom patterns or use some predefined ones and basically you can customize each single triangle which is simply amazing. So another cool product or attachment is the sound module which includes audio sensors to make Nanoleaf light up in the rhythm of the sound. So also in this mode you can define some different patterns and it's really not some random flashing. If you have a cool beat running it flashes directly to the beat. So it's not a super smart problem solving product, but I think you can't deny that it just looks simply awesome as decoration and to be honest, it's also really bright at maximum brightness and replaces my normal bulb sometimes. Alright guys, so now here at the end of this video and here's the unscripted part and my personal opinion on all those things. So well, as everyone else I bought the Echo Dot just to check out um, how Alexa works and if I would really like it. So. Because it's so cheap and Amazon really wants that everyone has their Amazon Echo in their home. That's why they um, basically just provide it for such a cheap price. And I really don't think that they make a ton of money on it. But it's a very good opportunity to just push all their other products like you can order things on Amazon, Amazon Music and I even thought about buying that. Now, I still have my student Prime membership, don't tell anybody, but well, it's just very cheap and also I have um, the Spotify student account, it's like five bucks a month and that's very affordable and the services are really cool. So Amazon, uh, Alexa, play some music on Spotify. Resuming Spotify. See, this works perfectly nice. And you can basically say, Alexa, play me that song on Spotify and it works perfectly nice. So Alexa, stop. Stop. Just shut the fuck <laughs> Alexa, stop. So my Wi-Fi connection is also really bad here. That's another thing. There's always that huge delay if you don't have good Wi-Fi and also you need to take care when you um, yeah, just carry that around. You always need to have a good internet connection. Otherwise, um, it's just pointless to carry it around. Anyway, I think it's really cool, but also really creepy. So sometimes I have friends over here. We sit at the couch, have a couple of beers. And then just one of them says something which sounds like Alexa and then um, yeah, she just pops up and says something like, oh, I couldn't understand you. And you never know what is being sent to Amazon. Amazon says, yeah, um, only, um, you know, those parts after the command Alexa will be sent to Amazon. But basically they could actually have everything sent to them if Alexa is, um, you know, has power all the time. and. It's just like really weird. You feel like there's always somebody listening to you and it gets even more weird with those new Amazon devices. They have now the look. It's like a camera which take, takes pictures of you. There is not even a display on it. And then it just tells you, um, gives you styling tips. I mean, it's not ready yet, but still it's very weird because it's like you listen to a computer who's telling you how you look or what you should wear. It's like damn retarded. Then there's also the new Spot and the Show. The Spot is a smaller one, the Show is a 7 inch one. They have a display, it's basically yeah, the Echo Dot with a display. It's really cool for video chatting, watching movies, for instance in the kitchen and everything like that. That's pretty cool. But still remember it also has a camera and I, wa I was watching the hands-on video from The Verge and that guy said, yeah, I will just grab one and put it into my bedroom and I was like, dude, do you know that it has a camera? Do you want to have that in your bedroom? 
It's just like really weird to have like a tape of you in your bed on the Amazon servers. I'm not sure how long they will store it, but probably a very long time. And yeah, that's um, a little bit weird, but the rest is very cool. And I think with Amazon Alexa, there will be a very bright future. And I need to try Google Home right now, but it was just released in my country and I need to give it a try. But right now I was just testing Alexa and it's really convenient. So Alexa, turn off Nanoleaf. See, works okay. perfectly fine. There's just a little bit of delay because my Wi-Fi connection really sucks. Then we also have here Nox, as I've shown you before. So sleep pace. Alexa, ask Nox to turn on the light. Light is on. Okay, so it's usually working, but I have, for instance, an US account because I'm, I'm living in Austria and this is a German dot. So you really have issues using that in German. You need an US account. I lost my Prime membership. This is just another retarded thing. And also with my accent, Alexa doesn't really understand me sometimes. So Alexa, turn on Nanoleaf. Mm. Alexa, turn on Nanoleaf. Okay. All right, so that's working fine. And I really love just controlling all my devices, turn off the alarm on sleep pace. It's just so convenient to use that with voice instead of just going over to it and, and press the button at the top. So, I mean, it works too, but you know, especially for the alarm clock, it just sucks in the morning to roll over your girlfriend and then just hit the alarm button. Okay, so that's basically it. My overall opinion on Alexa is it's it's really cool. I really love the, the Vox here because, you know, there are so many Echo devices. I could now buy a new one, but what should I do with the Dot? And a lot of people are putting their Dot right now on sale because they want a bigger one with sound. And you could actually just buy that case and reuse your Dot because, you know, software gets updated and features will basically remain the same. Okay, guys, so that was basically my um, personal opinion on Alexa. I love it and I'm not really sure right now if I will switch to Google Home, but let's see. All right guys, at this point, also big thanks to Squarespace for making this video possible. So whenever you need a website, an online store or simply a domain, you can make your first move with Squarespace, check out the links down below in the description and start your free trial today. There's also a discount code to get 10% off on your first purchase. So just check it out down below in the description. Now, let me tell you something about myself. So we are starting an online shop very soon for those huge things, Bitcoin miners. And I was programming it for the last four to five weeks, which was really a mess. So if you want to start your business, if you want to sell something on the internet, but you have no idea about coding, something like Squarespace is really good. They have 16 very beautiful templates. You just pick one. It's very easy to use. The customer support will help you out whenever you want to make a website or an online store and you need absolutely no coding language, but you can start to sell your products. Also, if you already have a domain, you can basically transfer it to Squarespace and their support will help you out with this. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Check out the links down below in the description. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day.